All right, so we're going to start over, going to new project. And I'm going to call this Rollerball Lesson. And I always just default to my Documents folder. So we are going to have to go into the asset store, so you're going to need to log into your Unity, uh, your Unity email and password login. So we're going to focus on is physics and we're going to look at materials. We're not going to really care about the visual materials, but we're going to look at the physics materials and how they interact. And once we're done, and we're also going to import the Unity standard assets. We're really just going to get the cameras and the ball. We're not going to get the car and the person and the other things. I'm making a few screens. Yours already loaded up? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yours too? Yeah. Uh, well, I couldn't bring my good laptop in today. So we're working on this one. I was running my good mouse and it broke from home. Well, my second good mouse. Oh, nice. So your no, middle click works? Mouse. That's important. Okay. So, did I have you already import the rollerball from? The standard assets, or do we create one, or just use it from the tutorial? I just create my own. <laughs> okay. So we'll grab the standard one and then make some modifications, and that may inspire you to modify yours a little bit, or just give you an alternative. Here we go. All right, we're skipping the new version of Unity. All right, we're gonna go to the asset store. So that's in the window, up in the menu, window asset store. And I think we just type standard, should get to the standard assets pretty quick. So this Unity Standard Assets looks kind of like the like a plastic model kit. So we're gonna go down to the import button. Now I don't really want to get all of it because it's gonna be a lot of visual uh, assets that are gonna take a huge amount of space and they're gonna take a while to import. And then every time you save your project, it's gonna have to zip up all those visual files. All right, so it's really important that we pick the right stuff here. So we're gonna go standard assets. I don't want any of the 2D. So I'm gonna unclick the 2D. I do want the cameras. So we're gonna grab all the cameras. For characters, I'm unchecking characters. I don't want the first person the only thing I'm going to grab is all the rollerball stuff. No third person. I think we need cross-platform input. I don't think we need water, but I'll just keep it in the editor. All right, effects. We don't need for now. That might be useful later. Now, environment. A lot of this we don't need. So I'm going to forget the environment, although they do have some cool materials in it, which I'm 
not seeing. All right, so forget the environment. You can get the fonts if you want. Particles are really fun, but I don't want to distract us with particles. I do recommend them overall, but I don't want to grab them. Physics materials, this is one of the important things we're gonna be focused on. So get all the physics materials. All right, here we go. So here's some prototyping materials that look pretty decent. We'll grab, some, we'll get all the models as well. All the prefabs, shaders. All right, we'll keep the utilities as well. We definitely do not want the vehicles. I will say the aircraft and car are very cool, but we're not gonna check them out right now. I definitely recommend poking around with those assets later. All right, so this is what I am getting from the standard assets. And then hit import. Should take a little while to bring these in. So a lot of the PNG files, those are textures. Those take up some of the most space in your project. So that I really want to avoid a lot of those. So that's why I uncheck so many things. The FBX files, those are models. They take up a little space, but not nearly as much as the uh, textures. All right, excellent. We already got problems. So I'm, I'm not going to use water. So all these water things causing a problem down here. If you click on the different errors, if you notice, they sh think they're all in the water folder. So easy solution, delete the water folder. Now I would not delete things out of your project without knowing what you're doing, but that's why we started on a new project. So we're not going to destroy any of our hard work. All right, hit clear. You should have no errors now. We don't need the asset store anymore. So, oh, we gotta hold on again. So I'm gonna close the asset store tab. I don't, I'm not worried about the warning, so I'll just clear them out. I don't need such a big console, so I'm gonna shrink that back down. All right, we should have nothing in our simple scene. We did not. Oh, we do have a sample scene. Let's go ahead and fire that up and see what we get. So it's right under assets, sample scene, double click it, should open it. Oh, excellent, it's the empty scene that we're working with. All right, good, so we can create everything from scratch. So under your assets, we're gonna go down to inside the standard assets into characters. It's very easy to navigate with the keyboard here. The right arrow opens up, the left arrow closes. So characters, rollerball, prefabs, and then here's the rollerball we want. So this one's gonna look pretty cool. Two ways you can grab it, you can drag it. Oh, the reason they're not letting me drag it into here because I thought I was looking at the scene, but I had the game clicked. So I really need to go to the scene. Then I can drag my rollerball, put it wherever you want, you can also put it up in the uh, sample scene as well, whichever however way you want to do it's fine. I like to reset the transform, so it starts right at uh, 0, 0, 0, also known as the origin. And if you look, it has a cool little texture that already comes with it. All right, we're going to need some place to drive this around on. Go and get the so I opened up the prototyping. Now I got too many things opened, so it's getting confusing. I'm on standard assets, prototyping, prefabs. And if you look, these are different little blocks you can drag in. Now I see two that are called floor. I'm gonna grab the big one, it's 64 by one by 64. 
So that's a nice floor to begin with. All right, this one did go, uh, get put into 0, 0, 0 at the origin. Now, I do need to raise the ball up so it'll roll around. And I think when we hit play, nothing should happen. Oh, all right. Well, it looks like input's already done for us. That's great, because that's one less thing we need to mess with. Okay, so any problems so far getting the ball to roll around? All right, let's check. Is it working over there? Okay. All right, let's take a little pause right here. I'll make sure everybody catches up.